Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, mystery box. Well, not so much of a mystery, but my buddy Pete Allen is at it again at the thrift store. Day two. All right, guys. So, Peter Allen, my buddy. So, just in case you don't know, Pete was a 50 year member at the club here. And he worked for Caltrain. He would go out to thrift stores, you know, Goodwill, Salvation Armies, and literally bring in rackets every day to show me. And he is such a sweet, nice guy. He would show me what it was. And then when it was time for him to uh, retire, he pretty much told me, he's like, I'm getting rid of my rackets. And I'm like, oh, what are you going to do with them? He's like, you can have them if you want to. So, you know, and that was, you know, a couple of years ago. Um, now he, he called me the last couple of weeks from his retirement home in Granite Bay and said, um, they're doing a little thrifting thing out here. Uh, do you, you want some Yamahas? And I was like, sure. You know, what, which Yamahas are they? He's like, I just saw the word Yamaha, but I'll just grab them for you. Okay. So I'm like, oh, uh, okay. So now they're here. Uh, I opened it up. I didn't really look yet. So, oh, we got an EX. Guys, remember Gabriella Sabatini? That's Gabriella Sabatini's racket. Is it the 100 or the 110? It's the 100. It's the 100. Oh my gosh. Check it out. Knowing Peter, he probably paid a buck for this. Wow. 30 years old later. What's the other one? Yamaha Secret 4, my favorite racket ever. And that's like in really good shape. Four and three-eighths grip. You know, I feel like I keep seeing these rackets with red strings. I don't know what it is about. And it kind of feels like red gut, but red gut wouldn't survive this long. Interesting. Hey coaches, are you tired of feeding a thousand balls an hour and not being able to see exactly what's going on in their techniques of your players? Ready position. Fast track tennis is the way. They'll feed the balls for you. You can stand on the same side as the person you're coaching. You can see exactly what they're doing wrong. Are they turning? Are they turning wrong? Swing. Can you really Ready see it position. from the other side? Unitern. Get Swing. fast track tennis Ready today position. and help Unitern. your Swing. students and Good. help Ready yourself Unitern. with your lesson. Swing. Somebody put power pads in here too. So somebody must have been pretty, you know, pretty serious. I think that might be gut. It might be natural gut. There was red gut. I've had it before and I've seen a lot of people have it too. No, it's in gut. It's just red sin gut. All right. Well, it looks like somebody put a fresh grip on that. Put a decent grip on that. Man, I wish I could go play. Let's go to the club and see who's available to test these good OG rackets. See you on the court.
All right, guys, so a little out of breath. 90 degrees tonight, today, excuse me. Finally, we got some warm weather out here in Marin. That's usually pretty rare, okay, that we don't get 90 degrees until now. <laughs> but um, super fun to play with both of these with both of you guys, Coach Redbeard, Coach Jared. I'm just going to tell you the quick story of how I got these. My buddy, Peter Allen, um, used to bring me rackets to my workplace almost every day. He worked for Caltrain. Caltrain who patches floors and do that for, uh, you know, the utilities commission. So wherever his job was, he would go out to a thrift store, Goodwills, Salvation Armies, and find random rackets for, he would say, look what I got for a dollar. Look what I got for two dollars. And he has since retired, uh, but he had hundreds of rackets in which I was happy enough to inherit. He is in a... I'm choosing my words very carefully, retirement community now, and he's still collecting for me. He knew that I loved Yamahas and Wilson Pro Staffs, so he called me the last two weekends saying, hey, I'm at a you know, yard sale. I'm at a thrift store. I have Yamahas, and I'm like, what are they? He's like, it's a secret. I'm like, I'll take it. I'll take whatever. I'll take it, and so he said, all right, I'll grab them for you and I'll ship them down. So these are what I got. Uh, this one, I didn't bother restringing because the red strings brought me back. This one, the strings were broken. So I restrung it with, I'll just call it confidential and, uh, and put a new grip on it and cleaned it up a little bit. But these are the rackets that I grew up with when I was in high school. These were popular. Um, Coach Redbeard, have you ever heard of y Yamaha tennis rackets? Uh, yes, I have. Are Play you familiar with these two? I am familiar with this one. I'm okay. not familiar with that one. Okay. Which I guess is funny. But yeah, I've seen this one played with before. Actually growing up, a 5-0 friend of mine used to play with this exact racket. So. Oh. Yeah. So I referred to that one as the Mack truck, and you agreed yeah. with me. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely feels like a Mack truck. It's a fun racket. I loved playing with the synthetic string, too. 30-year-old <laughs> synthetic string. I know. <laughs> like, the way it moves... You know, the way it hits the ball, it's just old school. Have to have full, complete strokes. You can't just, you know, whip around the ball. Ball's not going to go over the net with synthetic. But, yeah, the racket felt great. Honestly reminds me of, you know, hitting with, you know, a pro staff with Kevlar in it. Uh, just because it feels, stiff. you know, very stiff. <laughs> almost like swinging a piece of wood. But it brings me back. Felt good. You know, I used to string it like 68 pounds, mm -hmm. 72 Jeez. pounds. Yep. Like 65 is yeah. normal for us. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I mean, way off the spec of the racket too, I think. So, but yeah, no, so what, awesome what, racket. What about the white one? The white one's a different feel also because it has poly in it. So, you know, more give, more trampoline-y, but also felt good all in all. It's actually a racket that's like super handle heavy. So it was interesting to try and like, you know, swing but have all the weight in my hand almost like i feel like i'm holding a lot more weight even though it's probably not that heavy of a it's racket. about 12 and a half actually it's pretty oh, heavy is it yeah heavy? okay it's actually it, but so like maybe you that's said, why it feels heavy yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's, it's all in my hand <laughs> right. basically which is it, it's a different feel it's a different feel when swinging through but, but yeah lovely racket you heard of gabriella sabatini right yeah of course her racket oh that's what it is yannick noah Yannick. Oh, that's Yannick's racket. racket. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so um, Coach Jared, when these rackets were out, you weren't born. So mm. <laughs> I, I didn't even know that Yamaha made tennis rackets. See, that's, that's how, that's how uh, young I am, I guess. Right? So, so these were the golden days of rackets, I, I, I like to call. Um, which, what did you feel? Let, let's start with that one. Let's start with that one. Yeah, so one thing that's consistent between both rackets is you can definitely feel the weight. These things are pretty, pretty damn heavy. Um, this one's called the Secret. Secret 4. So four. Secret 4, I had, uh, so when holding it, I would think it was going to, or I thought it was going to play like the pure drives. It just kind of looks like that with a thick beam and and uh, 100 square inch head size, uh, decently open string pattern, and it was the complete opposite. So I was struggling very hard in the beginning to get the ball over the net 
So I don't know if that was the racket itself or the mix of the synthetic string, but it was just tough for me to kind of use the modern day swing, AKA the windshield wiper to get anything across the court. And it wasn't until coach Chris was saying, no, you got to swing out with a more complete stroke. Mm -hmm. It was, it wasn't until then that I was actually dialing in the frame and actually getting the ball to hit over the court. So, you know, more often than not, this definitely favors the old school stroke versus mm -hmm. the modern day stroke, which is why I think I was struggling in the beginning, but it's also very easy to see if you have the, you know, the old continental kind of, um, an kind of old school style, uh, swing path, this will definitely suit your game very well. Um, but yeah, I would not say it was a favorite of mine to kind of try it out just because it's just too tough to kind of play with, but you know, fun experience since I, again, did not know that Yamaha made tennis rackets. So yep. cool Wait, one overall. It wants you to swing through and it wants you to finish through. None of this crap. <laughs> yeah, none of the windshield wiper stuff. None of this crap. None, none of the stroke. You can't see yeah. the stroke. <laughs> Got it. But when you do though, it's like, you know, it was like it's, a big... It felt, it felt good. It felt good. Yeah. And I'm actually interested to see how this would play with the polyester string. So I don't know if it's... Again, because I think you said this is like a 30-year-old 30 30 synthetic string. So there. maybe it's the string itself that also might contribute to the uh, deadness of the racket in a way. No, but... it, it's going to play like that with a poly too. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> I think have it's just... Hammer, it's going to hammer the ball. <laughs> Got it. Got it. So uh, I guess that, that solves that mystery. So that's kind of my whole thing with this one. Because, because all the weight is around the hoop, mm -hmm. right, that... Even if you turn up, there's not enough plow to t cover the ball. That's why this racket doesn't want you to actually come up. Got it. So Got you, it. you have to cover up the ball it. a little bit more. Yeah. Got it. That that's makes what sense. It is. That makes sense. So. And then, so you actually, I thought you played very well with that one. I enjoyed this one a lot. So this one, just like what Coach Chris said, I think more of the weight is probably towards the handle and the throat of the racket. So I'm actually surprised that this one actually suited my style because usually I do like the weight more towards the head of the racket. So the more, it's just, again, it helps me swing through the ball or uh, swing through the court with the stroke itself. Um, I actually thought this was a 98 square inch head size racket. <laughs> and it wasn't until you told me that it was a uh, hundred. So I was mm -hmm. super surprised. This one definitely has the more modern day feel. Um, the other thing too, what's great about it is the, uh, the, uh, box beam frame. So it gives it a little bit more flexibility, gives it a ton of plow through. And I was telling Harry that this actually reminded me of the orange pure control back in the day when Babolat used to make those, but with actually a little bit more pop. And I think the reason for that is because the pure control had a 1620 string pattern. This one has a 1619. Mm -hmm. So Yamaha definitely made big changes with this one. I think it just, again, has that modern player's feel and. I just like the heft of it because, again, the weight just let me just swing swing out and anything that came hard at me, I was able to block it back as well. So overall, solid stake and definitely more. This one suits my game better than the, than, than the secret. So, so how many years are in between these two rackets? I want to say this is 1990. This is 95-ish. So, yeah. Five years. But okay. these don't, they're not the same. They're on opposite ends of the spectrum. Um this is one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful racket made for America. This is definitely their player stick. Okay. So let's say this would kind of be like a pure drive and this would be a pure strike in today's okay. world. I can see that. I so, but yeah, this was Sabatini's, you know, cute looking racket for cute looking women, right? For sure. Thanks, <laughs> I'm man. sure they sold a lot of racket because of her. Probably, probably. <laughs> but the one thing that I always loved about Yamaha was feel it always gave you great feel when you connected right you knew when you framed the ball it would go over the fence so it just had great great feel you knew when you hit the ball right so that's why i've always loved yamaha mm -hmm. and that's why i seek these out big shout out again my man pete allen for hooking me up even though you're in retirement community thank you so much Coach Redbeard, thank you so much. Where can we find you? You can find me here at Marin Tennis Club and Marin Tennis Club on YouTube. All right. Coach Jared, you've been very active on Instagram lately. Where can they find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Ma Tennis. There you go. Guys, thank you for joining us today. And thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.